Hey guys and girls, so in today's video we're going to be talking about noise and I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks in order for you to create better terrains for the Infinite Terrain plugin. So now let me show you what a single layer of noise looks like. If we have our water line and a single layer of noise will look something like this. So let's create a single layer of noise in studio and turn generation on. And if I scroll back a little bit, now we can see from the side, it looks a lot like the image that I just drew. So we can see the water line and the terrain going up and down like so. So in order to improve how our terrain looks, we want to have multiple layers of terrain. So if we have two layers, it will look something like this. If we add one large noise and we apply a smaller noise on top of the large noise, it will look something like this. So let's first create our large noise. I'm going to have a scale of 0.8 zero eight and a magnitude of 200 so now we can see we have this large noise and now I'm going to layer a secondary noise on top of it with a magnitude of 40 And now you can see with just two layers of noise, our terrain looks a lot nicer. And by further adding more layers of noise, for instance, I've added a noise with a scale of 0.04 and a scale of 0.2, you can see that the terrain becomes even more nicer. It's also possible to clamp the noise. So what that means is I could clamp my noise here and it will prevent the top parts of the terrain from being created. So it would look something like this. And I can also clamp on the bottom and it would make it look like this. So let's add a noise and set the magnitude to 100. And you can see that by default, the it's clamped at negative 10 to positive 10. So I can change this positive 10 to 0 0.3. And now you can see that the tops of the noise are being cropped off. And we can do also do the same for the negative side. So I can change this negative 10 to negative 0 0.3. And I'm going to move my water down so it's not in the way. We can see that now the bottoms of the noise is also clamped. And we can keep bringing this in. So, like so. And now you can see it's clamped even closer. And we can increase the magnitude to achieve things like this. This first value, the seed value, allows us to change the pattern of the noise. So we currently have this pattern, but if I change this to some other random numbers, like so, now you can see that we get an entirely new pattern generated. It's also possible to change the seed by a very small value to get a very small shift in the pattern. So if I clone this noise and change the magnitude to 250 for both of them, and if I ever so slightly change this from a 0.2 to a 0.3, you can see that now we have these second parts that are sticking out slightly. And if I further increase the difference, 
you can see that the two layers are slowly coming apart. We can also clamp noise to adjust how often we see the bumps of the noise. So if I clamped the noise along here, you can see that instead of seeing one, two, three, four, five bumps, we will only see two bumps. So if I create a noise and set the scale to eight, you can see that we have lots of bumps. And if I keep clamping from the bottom up, so I'm going to start at zero. Now you can see we have slightly less bumps. I'm going to go to point one. Now you can see we have less bumps. I'm going to go to point two. Now you can see that we have slightly less bumps. I'm going to go to point three. And now you can see we have fewer bumps. Point four. You'll notice as I keep increasing the clamp, the terrain starts shifting higher above the water level. So in order to calculate this difference, the magnitude times the clamp value. So 50 times 0 0.4 equals 20. So if we shift the terrain by negative 20, we can see that the terrain goes back down to zero. Now let's convert these small bumps into mountains. So I'm going to slowly increase the magnitude and increase the scale until they become a size that I'm happy with. So first I'm going to increase the magnitude to 100. And then I'm going to increase the scale. Okay, now we can see that the bumps have become very distant from one another. So I'm going to reduce the 0 0.4 to 0 0.2. and I'm going to keep increasing the magnitude. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. So now let's shift the train down, so 500 times 0 0.2, 500 times 0 0.2 is 100. So we need to shift it down by 100. You can see that these bumps are very rounded. So we can use the technique that I showed you previously to change their shape slightly. So I'm going to clone this noise, reduce their magnitude to 250, and I'm ever so slightly going to change the seed by a small amount. And now you can see that this bump has slightly changed to a different pattern. Now I'm going to set the water height back to zero and I'm going to layer on more noise. So this first noise is going to determine how much land and how much water we have. So let's add the noise. And I'm going to set the magnitude to 200. And I want a very large scale so that the lands are very large. So 0 0.02. Now you can see we have very large oceans but we should also have very large 
areas of land. Like so. And now I'm going to layer on some more noise. So let's add another noise. And let's set the scale to 0 0.02. And let's clear the terrain. Let's see what this looks like. So we can see we have these small hills. And um, I think I'm going to slightly reduce the height of the hills. And I think I'm going to increase their scale. And I think I'm going to add another noise, which is very fine noise. So something like this, which makes these very small bumps. Mm, I think I'm going to do 0.15 and let's do 0.1. Um, I also want to do another noise that breaks this flat terrain up slightly, so let's add another noise. I'm going to move it up to here. I'm going to set the magnitude to 80 and the scale to 0, 2. So let's see what this looks like. I'm also going to clamp the bottom of these bumps so that we still have some flat areas, so change this negative 10 to 0. So you can see we have the flat areas and the positive side of the bumps. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do things like volcanoes and craters. So I'm going to create a noise. I'm going to clamp the bottom of the noise. I'm going to increase the scale and increase the magnitude. Now I'm going to clone this noise and I'm going to clamp the second noise even higher up. So 0 0.3, uh, let's clamp it slightly higher, 0 0.4, and let's increase the magnitude. Okay, now you can see that we have the first noise and the second noise on top. Now what I'm going to do is set the magnitude to negative. Now I'm going to shift the terrain up. 
So 200 times uh, 0 0.4 is 80. So let's shift the terrain up by 80. 80. Now you can see that we have the hill going up and then the negative noise creates a indent at the top. And we can use this system to create volcanoes and craters. Now I'm going to be showing you how to make hills that lead up to your mountains. So I'm going to create a noise and I'm going to clamp the noise at zero and I'm going to clamp the Actually, I think I'm going to clamp at 0.2 and I'm going to clamp the top at 0.3 and I'm going to set the magnitude to 100 and slightly increase the scale to 0, 0.1 and let's see what this looks like. Okay, I need to increase the scale to 500 let's increase the scale to 1000 okay let's shift the terrain down so 1000 times 0 0.2 is 200 so negative 200 And now I'm going to create a second noise that slopes up to this noise. So let's clone this noise and I'm going to set this to 10 and I'm going to set this at zero and I'm going to set the magnitude, let's do 500 for now. Let's have a look. Okay, let's reduce this to 200. Okay, now you can see that we have a slope before the mountain starts and we can increase this by changing this to negative 0.2 and let's hide the water so we can see what's going on. We can change this to 0.1 and we can reduce the magnitude so it's not so steep. Thank you for watching the video and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below.